Well, we're in day two of installing the bricks that we sold to uh, people who were uh, uh, donors to uh, help us finish the project off. From the fundraising and construction efforts for the River Mill Park Band Shell to taking the lead on set building for the annual musical and countless projects in between, Ross Kerwin was there. Fellow Rotarian Rob Saunders. It doesn't get any bigger than a guy like Ross Kerwin, so... You know, he just was a stalwart, uh, both for Rotary and, uh, and really for the community as a whole. Uh, both he and his wife, Deb, they've just done so much for the, for the community of Huntsville over the years. Uh, it's going to be a big, big loss, sadly missed. Ross Kerwin was a man who was known to get things done in this community that he loved. One of the projects he led, the building of this band shell here in River Mill Park. Well, he, he got things done, and again, he was he was anal about doing things, in, in the, and that's the best compliment I can pay that guy. He just didn't do things half halfway. If he was going to do it, it was going to be done right and to proper specs, and that's just the way he did it. Uh, again, we I just think of some of the projects, you know, we're sitting on one of them, that he was directly involved in, certainly the band shell. Uh, I think of the rotary plays over the year, every set since uh, 2005 had his fingerprints on it. He and Doug Fairhall were, uh, were brilliant in you know, putting together teams to build these things. And I w one thing that stood out for me, I remember one of our first plays was Wizard of Oz. And he built this windmill. It had to be you know, an old time windmill on Dorothy's farm. And uh, it looked great, but Ross is sitting there looking at it. He goes, it's got to turn. The windmill's got to turn. So he goes, he gets a motor, he gets up there and, and, and that thing turned. Someone had to go out and plug it every night and unplug it. But uh, that's kind of, that to me sums up the guy. When you worked on a project with him, you'd say, hey, it, it looks good. And he'd say, yeah, but why don't we just redo this? Why don't we do that? He just was just very, very rigid about quality. And that's how he worked himself. And I think he just knew if he wasn't going to use it, he didn't want anyone else to be using it. So I think that's uh, the mark of the man. Plans are underway for a celebration of life for Ross Kerwin at a later date. Saunders says he expects his friend to be remembered through a specific Rotary event. Yeah, well, I think that's you know one of the big projects that he was he was the lead on was this hockey game. You know, we, we're getting the alumni team up here. We tried it two years ago, tried it last year, kept on getting delayed because of COVID. It's October 22nd, and I can guarantee you, as kind of the second in command of that one, that'll have. Uh, That'll have a Kerwin tribute built into it. That's just one thing. But uh, I think the club want you know, and club in the community because he had a lot of friends around the community. There'll be, there'll be something out there that uh, that this town says thank you to Ross Kerwin. For us here at Your TV, it's the regular interactions with Ross that we will miss. Countless interviews about his projects, TV auctions, and of course the weekly TV bingo. We are all better for having Ross in our lives.